हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू रत्ना क्लासेस टुडे विल स्टडी सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ फाइव डिजिट नंबर्स विथ बोरोइंग सो लेट स्टार्ट एज आई ऑलरेडी मैंशन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो के फर्स्ट विल सब्ट्रैक्ट नंबर गिवन एट वन प्लेस देन एट टेन प्लेस देन ऑफ हंड्रेड देन ऑफ थाउजेंड एंड लास्ट एट लास्ट वी विल सब्ट्रैक्ट नंबर गिवन एट टेन थाउजेंड प्लेस ओके so let's start our already i have solved this one for you so let's uh, once again verify this that is 8 minus 1 is 7 3 minus 2 is 1 4 minus 1 is 3 7 minus 4 is 3 6 minus 3 is Three. So we got our answer. That is seventy thirty-three thousand three hundred seventeen. Okay. Let's move to the next sum. That is fifty-one thousand seven hundred ninety-six minus two thousand four hundred eighty-one. So first we'll subtract six minus one. That is five nine. Minus eight is how much? One. Seven minus four is three. Now one minus two, as one is smaller than two, so we can't subtract it. So what we'll do? We'll take borrowing. That is one will become how much? Eleven. And as we have borrowed from five. So five will become four. Okay. Now eleven minus two. That is nine. And four minus nothing. That it will remain as it is four. So we got our answer. That is forty nine thousand three hundred fifteen. Our next sum is eighty one thousand three hundred twenty seven minus. Forty-five thousand seven hundred forty-nine. So first of all, we'll subtract number given at ones place. That is seven minus nine. As we can't subtract nine from seven, so we'll take borrow from tens place. So seven will become how much? Seventeen, and two will become one. Now seventeen minus nine is how much? Eight. Now again we can't subtract four from one, so again we'll take borrow. Though so one will become eleven and three will become how much two? Eleven minus four that is seven. Now again we can't subtract seven from two, so we'll take again borrow from thousand place. So two will become twelve and one will become zero. Now twelve minus seven is how much? Five. So we'll write five over here. Now again we can't subtract five from zero. So again we'll take borrow from ten thousand place. That is zero will become ten, and eight will become how much? Seven. Ten minus five is how much? Five. And last number at Ten thousand places seven minus four. It will become three. So we got our answer. That is thirty-five thousand five hundred seventy-eight. Now let's move to the next sum. That is ninety thousand minus twenty-six thousand four hundred eighty-one. So let's start. Can we subtract one from zero? No, but we have to take borrow, right? But in tens place also it is given zero. At hundred place also it is given zero, and at thousand place is also zero. So first of all, here we take borrow from ten thousand place. Here it is given nine. So if we borrow one one tens from here, then zero will become how much? Ten, and nine will become. Eight again, again this zero 
will borrow one from here so it will become how much 10 and this 10 will become how much 9 again will borrow 1 from 100 place so this 0 will become 10 and again at 100 place this 10 will become how much 9 now again we have to borrow 10, 1 from 10's place so here it will become 10 and this will become 9 okay like this we have to solve this type of questions so now let's solve 10 minus 1 that is 9 9 minus 8 is how much 1 9 minus 4 is how much 5 9 minus 6 that is 3 8 minus 2 that is 6 so we got our answer that is 63519 now let's move to the next sum it is what 41542 minus 18175 so we can't subtract 5 from 2 so again we'll take borrow so 2 will become how much 12 and 4 will become how much 3 now 12 minus 5 so it is 7 Again, we can't subtract 7 from 3. So, we'll take borrow from 100 place. So, 5 will become how much? 4 and 3 will become how much? 13. Now, 13 minus 7 is how much? Yes, 6. 4 minus 1. Can we subtract 1 from 4? Yes, because 4 is bigger number now. So, we can subtract. So, here we do, here it is not needed. Okay, to borrow every time. 4 minus 1 is how much? 3. Now, here it is 1 minus 8. Again, we can't subtract 8 from 1. So, 1 will become 11. It will borrow 1 from 4. And 4 will become how much? 3. Now, 11 minus 8 is how much? 3. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So, our answer is 23,367. Now, our next sum is 65,422 minus 19,615. So, again here we can't subtract 5 from 2. So, we will take borrow and 2 will become 12 and here 2 will become how much? 1. 12 minus 5 is 7. 1 minus 1 is 0. 4 minus 6. We can't subtract 6 from 4. So, again we have to take borrow. So, 4 will become how much? Yes, 14. And 5 will become 4. Now, 14 minus 6 is how much? 8, 4, minus 9. No, we can't subtract 9 from 4. So, again we will take borrow. Then it will become 14. 4 will become 14. And 6 will become how much? Yes, 5. 14 minus 9 is how much? 5. And 5 minus 1 is 4. We got our answer. 45,807. So easy, na? 